Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. And if the mind wanders off, bring it back. You're training the mind for the sake of your long-term welfare and happiness. This morning everyone's saying Happy New Year, Happy New Year. Last night we heard Happy New Year in many different languages. But one year of happiness is a pretty short time. You wouldn't want just one year and then it would change to something else. You want happiness that lasts longer than a year. Because that's why we need to train the mind. As the Buddha said, wisdom begins with the question, what, when I do it, will lead to my long-term welfare and happiness? And it basically comes down to three types of things. Being honest in your physical actions, honest in your verbal actions, and honest in your mental actions. Acting in ways that don't harm anybody. Because this is one of the conditions for a happiness that lasts, is that it not harm anyone. Because after all, if it harms somebody, they're not going to stand for your happiness. They're going to do everything they can to destroy it. So you want to make sure that the way in which you look for happiness doesn't create any problems for anybody, doesn't cause them any real harm. And so you look at your actions. As long as you don't kill, steal, have illicit sex, your physical actions are har harmless. As long as, you, as, as for your speech, you don't tell lies, you don't speak in divisive ways, in other words, you don't try to break up people's friendships, you don't speak in harsh ways with the sole aim of hurting people's feelings. And you don't engage in idle chatter, in other words, speaking without really knowing what your purpose is. And then finally there's mental actions. You want to make sure that your greed doesn't go out of bounds. This doesn't mean that you shouldn't have any desire for material things. After all, the, the Buddha praised people who are industrious in their work, who look for good and look for happiness and comfort, comfort materially, but they do it in ways that don't go out of bounds. In other words, you don't break the precepts. And then you don't have any ill will for anyone. You don't wish for anyone to suffer. And you try to make sure that your views are in line with the, the principle that your actions really are important. Your actions make all the difference. If you don't believe that your actions are important, you're not going to be very careful about what you do. And you can act in very sloppy and harmful ways. So, there it is. Harmless action. That's how you find happiness. That's not what the world says. The world says it doesn't matter who you harm as long as you get what you want. But then if you get what you want, it only lasts for a little while, and then comes with a lot of pain afterwards. Is it worth it? Not at all. You want a happiness that's worth all the effort that goes into it. That's why you want to make sure that your happiness lasts more than just one year. It lasts all the way to the end of this life and on into the next life, and the lives after that. So these are the things you do. You make sure that you don't harm anybody with your physical actions, you don't harm anybody with your speech, and you don't harm yourself with your thoughts. In this way, the wish for a happy New Year extends out for a wish for a happy life, wish for a happy mind, with no time limits at all. <laughs>